Beyond the maelstrom of the abyss, a subterranean tunnel leads northward to the clan territory of your brother, Dumas. Endowed with Rahab's soul, you may swim to gain entry where your progress was previously impeded. Don't know what's up with the Elder God being a little broken. But yes, we are uh, at the end. At the end of Soul Reba. We got one final level to get through. Well. All right, one, uh, one final level uh soul reaver um another really long one if i wasn't such an idiot with uh the duma level i don't think it would have been as long but to be fair i don't think i went over an hour i think i was at exactly an hour um so i guess me being kind of dumb was warranted but uh yes final final part all that's left now is uh, to get through this section of uh, the Oracle. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's talk to Ariel and see what Ariel has to say. Because apparently the Elder God is stupid and broken. Even though you did that thing in the last episode, do it again. It's all because I cheated because I used some cheats to skip ahead in the game to get to where it was last time. Otherwise. I love the details of how uh, this specifically, how they got the, uh, the shifting thing made. It was, um, it's actually two levels on top of another. And then when you shift, they very cleverly uh, swap the uh, the planes, the uh, the level out to an identical one of just everything mixed up. Like it's just a really quick like texture and an entire it's an entire area level swap. It's really cool. Um, Digital Foundry. The YouTube channel, the tech channel, uh, Digital Foundry did a really great um, developer like retrospective on how Soul Reaver was made. Super interesting. I kind of hope they do one for uh, the rest of the series as well, like Blood Omen and, and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Thank you, technology, for liking my photo. Oh, now we're getting the right music? Are you serious? I'm gonna get copyrighted again. That's really funny. Yeah, now I'm getting a, I'm getting the actual right music that was supposed to be for every single time I enter this area. Boss fight and everything. That's really funny. In the bowels of an inverted clockwork, the tormentor awaits. Be wary, Raziel. Those blind with rage are by destiny ensnared. Cain awaits. On our way to defeat Cain. No, don't copyright me. Don't copyright me. We just got the creepy sound design and the lightsaber sounding soul reaver which i believe this sound for the soul reaver the weird uh lightsaber sound um apart from it being a 
kind of like rework of the way the Soul Reaver sounds in Blood Omen 1, which is really cool. Um, I think in Soul Reaver 2, they, they, they kept the sound. It's weird. I've, in the very beginning of Soul Reaver 2, um, you get to use the Soul Reaver for like five minutes, like the, the original version, because it changes slightly in Soul Reaver 2. Um, oh, damn it. That's right. I need a uh, switch. You get to use the original this Soul Reaver, and I think it's still the same sound. I'm not sure. I've never actually done it within like the first 10 minutes of the game when you can actually use uh, the Soul Reaver. It's really, yeah. Damn, I got a character broken. Yeah, this is so cool. I like how uh, even though water has no heft or lift in the universe when you're in the spectral realm i love how the abyss is the only water the only like water area that's still working because of its super supernatural ability it's like outside of time and outside of the physical and the material realm it's super super kick-ass i believe can i still use the water though or am i actually gonna fall through it Oh, all right, shit. So the, the w it's still moving, but it's not registering that I'm going. And I'm pretty sure I just got myself stuck. So I just need to uh, shift, let me shift. Are you going to let me shift or no? I guess I could just fall into the, uh, fall into it. As my agent, you are beyond death, Raziel. Your enemies cannot destroy you. If you grow too weak, however, you will always be drawn here to recover. You will always be drawn here, Raziel. Are you gonna talk? Centuries past, your brother Dumas retreated with his clan into Nosgoth's northern wilderness. Empowered by the gift of Rahab's sower, seek out his mountain stronghold, but tread carefully. These frozen wastes have mysteries yet to disclose. Use your newfound talents to gain entry where you have been otherwise impeded. Damn, Tony J, I love your voice. Rest in peace. All right, last level, baby. Let's do it. Oh, that's right. I turned off the music because I didn't want to get copyrighted. a lot of you. That's right. I'm in your territory. That was cool. What is over here? Oh, fire. That's right. I got the fire reaver. Now I can just set motherfuckers ablaze. Blaze. 
leave. Are you gonna work for me? Yeah. That's so cool. Alright, this is super cool. I do love the uh, the entrance to the Oracle's Cave and how, um, like, this whole area is a uh, recreation of, or sort of recreation of uh, Blood Omen 1 area and Blood Omen 1, obviously with some more architecture because vampires took over and built strongholds and shit out of it. So really cool. And we get a really dumb ability. Um, that I don't think I hope I can pull off with like really shitty keyboard controls there we go damn it this might be harder than fuck literally you have to just run around in a circle with this ability Fuck, man. There we go. It's a constrict ability. It's completely and totally useless. You only really need it for puzzles. There is um, nothing else to it. Sorry, I paused. Yeah, I love the look of the Oracle's Cave. Like, they even got the color scheme. It's a pretty close color match to the lighting and everything of the original map in Blood Omen 1. It's super cool. But they got, like, the weird rainbow kind of colors. Um, my only prop, like, I really wish that they would have, uh, somehow got the music for it and then just reused it but because my game is dumb it's still s keeping me instead of changing my music to what it's supposed to be it is still there we go what the fuck yeah it's like I love the how it's almost a like a spot-on match for the, um, the how the map and colors played out in the original Blood Omen 1. Now I just need to get the gate. So if I die or get frustrated, there we go. And I can just come back. I believe this has a, yeah, this has the uh, the hardest vampires, hardest, the the uh, m strongest, I guess. Um, these big bastards, the uh, the Terrellum, the Terrell vampires. Uh, they're the it's the only boss that you don't fight. There's one boss missing, but he shows up later on in the series, so it's fine. But it, yeah, hardest vampires. Um, if I didn't have a fire reaver to blow them all to smithereens. But I think I will lose it soon because I have to shift into the spectral realm. Yeah, I love the whole look of this area. Got to shift. Now we're on to some really annoying block puzzles. Yeah, so dumb. Alright. Block 
puzzles, baby. That opened the other door too, right? Yeah, okay. one alive I know yeah you're alive aren't you do I have to take something out are you dead you can't well I mean undead <sighs> what sucks is I'm really trying to remember uh, how to solve this one to swap I need to like move these blocks across the other way I believe yeah something like that Do they have symbols on them I can't remember no right that's the other one yeah I do like the uh, the murals that are on these rocks. It's pretty sweet. Ah, yes, you are alive. If I take that staff out, you will be alive. But I will not. Because I do not want to fight you. Yeah, that's right. I need to get a, I need to get to open this door. I need the two blocks in those symbols. But first I have to open you up, which means I close this one down. Fun times, right? This is this is a, a blast of Soul Reaver. A lot of block puzzles and a lot of shifting. To be fair, I think the amount of block puzzles this game has counts. What am I doing? I need to go through here anyway. Um, the amount this game has, I believe, is only really like five like five in total but they're so annoying and like so just pointlessly time consuming um that they are the one thing people always remember and complain about soul reaver is uh these fucking block puzzles yeah i need a block in there and i need the block in the other one so what the fuck's going on i'm not dumb it's not clicking properly for me. That's so weird. Unless it just doesn't. Hmm. Do I need all the doors open? No. Yeah, I know I'm not crazy. Come on, stupid. Yeah, you close. So I have both of those doors closed. I have to shift. And that's right. Yeah. 
Maybe it's a little more than five for the block puzzle count, but um, I know technically it's not a lot. Like, it doesn't make up the bulk of the game or anything. But um, it is a majority of, if not all of the puzzles in this game are block puzzles. Some are really cool, like having to switch, you know, between spe spectral and material realm to like get to a platform. That's really fucking cool. I dig that aspect, even though I sucked really hard at it last time I did the, the Duma level. But um, it's still a really cool concept. Damn, now I remember why I wanted, um, let's see, where are you bastards? I know there's like four of you that come out of here. And I can't remember if I have to shift to, ah, there you are. <laughs> Look at that shit. No, you motherfucker. Uh, this is why they're the worst. And I have no weapon now. I do love how each clan symbol is like on their back or something. Or like somehow interconnected. God damn it. In their outfit. They also have telekinetic power like me. That's their main, uh, like, vampire thing. Trait. Main trait. Fuck. Come on. Wait a minute, I can just shoot you. Yeah, I feel dumb. I still need to turn that thing, so I still need to switch realms. Come on. Oh, there's another one. You thought. Hey, what video were you watching? You haven't missed anything. Just a bunch of block puzzles, as is standard with this series. <laughs> or at least this game. This is the one with the most block puzzles. The sequels... Not so much block puzzles. Oh, no, other way. Shit. Oh, it's just a freaking mana charger? I thought it was something important. I don't have any glyphs anyway. Whoa. 31. What's 31? Wait, was that that movie with a bunch of com of a bunch of famous actors getting together to do a comedy? Oof. Yeah, I heard that movie sucked. I never saw it, but I heard it was bad. Oh, wait. Wait, what are you talking about? What movie? Oh, bitch. Oh, more block puzzles. Luckily, this one's easy. Oh, okay. 30. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was 30 is uh, that Rob Zombie movie? Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I heard that movie still sucked. Um, <laughs> which, which is a shame because I love Rob Zombie. Um, or not. 
correction, not maybe sucked, but not his best effort. I think um, the third Devil's Rejects film did better. I'm not sure. Oh, there's my fuck. There's my fuck. Cool. Yeah, I love it when you switch. There's gonna be another Terrell vampire up here. Oh. Uh, okay. I heard something. Oh, okay, so 31 did suck. Yeah, I heard uh, I heard 3 from Hell was good. Like, not as good as Devil's Rejects, but for a final film, um, it, it was good, I guess. I haven't seen it, but it's on uh, Shudder, I think. Another one. All right, telekinetic battle. I think there's a couple more. That's a shift area, but I can't remember if that leads to anything important. that just to open a door. Damn it, wrong one. Shit, come on. This way. No, wait. Yes. Yes, I think. Yeah. Oh, hell no. I don't want to watch a crappy horror movie from Rob Zombie. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I might. I'll probably watch it. I've seen all of his other movies. I've seen, like, The Witch, The Witchy One, Salem's, Salem's Witches, whatever the fuck it was called. Why is this here? This is so pointless. Why? Why? Um, but yeah, I liked the, the Salem one. I can't remember what it was called. I liked that one a lot. Um, and then uh, I think I looked up, I looked up what the differences were between the director's cut and like the theatrical version and like as, as minor as they are. Um, yeah, like, the ending for that movie was bonkers. But I just might watch, um... I might watch it. Oh, fuck! Yes, that's it. Thanks. Alright, Oracle's Cave, baby! We're almost at the end. The Oracle's Cave where Cain's first fateful meeting with Mobius occurred. Mobius played the role of a doddering soothsayer, stirring his pot of visions while dispensing enigmatic predictions to gullible visitors. Underneath the facade was Mobius the Time Streamer, sorcerer of the Circle of Nine, a ruthless manipulator with the power to bend time. 
Since his murder at Cain's hand centuries ago, these caves have stood vacant, though, like Mobius himself, they are rumored to be only a facade for a much larger, more elaborate complex. I sensed that Cain was here, and at that moment, I would have plumbed the depths of hell to find him. So good. Love it. Uh, more block puzzles coming up. I think like this is like literally what what did I just do? Three? Like four? This, I deduce, must be the man himself, the time streamer, Mobius. He seemed not at all the impressive figure I had imagined from Kane's boasted exploits. And yet, even this cold image radiated a certain undeniable power. Mobius. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Thank you for the host. Thanks, Ian, for the host. Hey, Ian. How you doing? Sorry, I didn't get to, uh, I didn't get to catch your, um, your Skyrim stream the other day. You're in luck. We're at like the ending of Soul Reaver. So if you ever wanted to just skip the entire game <laughs> and, uh, and watch the ending of Soul Reaver, we're at the last, like, the last, uh, like 30, 40 minutes of just block puzzles galore. Never ends. Oh, sweet. Sweet. I'll try to catch that. How was work today? Happy Monday, also. Let's see. Red. I need a blue. Yeah, that's true. Very true. What horror game are you going to be streaming? I think Varric, Varric and Skara have been playing, and maybe even Cyan a little bit, have been uh, playing through Dead by Daylight, or just playing some Dead by Daylight games. But I'm sure whatever you stream um, will be awesome. Oh yeah, I've never I've never played the S SCP stuff, so that'll be interesting to watch. Yeah, I'll definitely try to catch that. Damn it! Uh, wrong way. Yeah, I want to get into Dead by Daylight. I have a friend who plays it, never shuts the hell up about it. So it's like, I've been thinking, thinking, um, it looks fun. Plus they added a new uh, Silent Hill character. I think Pyramid Head is the most recent one. Um, let's see, where are we going? All right, more block puzzles. as we head deeper down into the depths of Cain's lair. 
Yeah, if you have friends, definitely. If you're playing with a bunch of randoms, it's kind of, it's like meme territory. Yeah, for real. Like, I've, I've only played the first Silent Hill. I've never played two, and I've never played three, even though I really, really should. Damn it. Why are there so many of these guys? Nope. I know Silent Hill 2 is like the go-to. I want to get Silent Hill 2 on, um, on P on con or like uh, I want to try the like HD remakes, but I heard they were kind of bad. And then um, the PC version I think for Silent Hill 2 has a patch, has like a fan patch to uh, what's red cane symbol to be fixed. They were okay, yeah. Like, I think that I heard they changed the voice acting or something, and it pissed everyone off. <laughs> Which is one thing you don't do. You do not fuck with, with people's original voice actors unless um, you find people who are incredibly close and can pull it off or something. Like, uh, what's a game that... Rep like the, okay, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I'm so used to those characters um, being voiced by the people like who did Advent Children. Yeah, it's like, well, no, they, uh, Tamika in the, in the Silent Hill remakes, they went and changed the voice actors, I think for just Silent Hill 2 alone. I'm not about, I'm not sure about 3. And um, that, you know, it's like, it's like uh, if you went and if they went and remade the Soul Reaver games and didn't get Michael Bell or Simon Templeman back to be Kane or Raziel, respectively, it's like these are these are the characters we grew up with. So if you're gonna just re just remaster the visuals, don't remaster the entire game, you know. Or I mean, like, don't change the voice actors. I understand what they were doing by uh, like just giving it like better HD quality because maybe the sound files they couldn't get or they couldn't fix or something and that pissed everyone off. That pissed me off too. Like it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. It was it was it was charming is what it was. It's charming. It's like um it's like the original Resident Evil games how they have a really like terrible quote-unquote voice acting but it's got a charm to it you know granted the remakes are really good like i really like i really like resident evil 2 remake so far what i've played oh god oh god no no jesus die can i throw you on spikes fuck Damn it, he took like all my health. Fuck it. Run. Where am I going? No, I need to get past him. Shit. There we go. My god. Yeah. Glitch you into spikes. Oh, fuck. Legit, I just lost like half my health and my Soul Reaver. Damn it. Um, all right. Well, speaking of remakes, speaking of remakes, um, Ian, did you hear that they are going to be remaking Skyrim for the PS5? Uh, no, I wouldn't be surprised if they did release Skyrim for PS5, though. Like, I would not be surprised at one bit. They're doing it for GTA. Damn it. Well, I can just run past this area. I don't need to fight. But then there's another one that I do need to fight. Shit. 
I need a wrench or something. Come on, Raziel. Don't mess with me now, dumb camera. Oh, there's spikes. Okay. Whoa, what are you doing running at me like that? No, stop it. Stop it. Oh, God, I'm going to die. Damn it, wrong fucking area. There. Well, no, I don't think it, it's because the voice acting was necessarily bad. I think it's because they they compressed it really terribly and it made it really shitty. <laughs> On the console, the only reason to be a Skyrim kid, yeah. No, I bitch about the block puzzles in this game all the time, but the combat's really fun. Um, and, like, the there are some puzzles where even though they're block puzzles, they have really interesting... Um, I guess solutions like I think being able to switch no fucking way where the hell are you really attacking me from up there, bro? Wow Like being able to switch between realms to solve a puzzle is really cool. Oh My god, I'm never gonna stop him. Okay. I need to uh, move these Yeah, 1999. I'm surprised. I think, um, yeah, it's it's a PS1 game. There's no tank controls, which, like, a majority of PS1 games at the time for quite a while were tank controls. Um, so it's like that was, that was fixed. That wasn't a problem. Um, like, the whole spectral realm shifting thing is really cool. Like, it's got some great ideas. And for the time, being able to pull off what they pulled off is is some black magic. You know, um, no, no loading screens. No loading screens or whatever for 1999. There's like seven versions of Skyrim. All right, I need to get my health back. Oh, yay, sold. All right, we're at the final stretch. Um, there is, there's one more block puzzle left. There's this one, and then um, I think that's it. We're at the end. Don't tell me I'm going to have to go all the way fucking down to... Okay. I can finish this block puzzle after I find a shifting area. Which is there. Don't attack me. Damn it, and there's a freaking enemy down there. Sky There's no Skyrim for Alexa. Shut up. <laughs> that is not real. That is not real. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yes. Welcome back to Hagen, adventurer. We were standing at a crossroads deciding where to go. 
In one direction is a fishing tent. In the other is an abandoned tower. Where would you like to go? Abandoned town. At the abandoned tower, an Imperial Maid greets you. She desperately needs you to retrieve a family heirloom from a haunted cave. Will you help the Imperial Maid? Yes. You arrive at your first dungeon. As the mighty river Kimini offers the already known that you can use your weapon, cast spell, or start to battle your enemies. And, seeing as how your Skyrim is further north, you certainly will never ever need to ask for food when facing an enemy too powerful for you. No, a powerful warrior like you won't ever need to see. Or even take enough damage to ask. What is my health? So let's continue. You follow the quest marker to your destination. The cave in front of you seems quiet. Perhaps too quiet. Are you starting to believe it? Yes, this is amazing. Are you starting to believe it? Yes. A dead deer carcass is rotting in the center of the chamber. Something big has been here recently. Be here quickly. A large muskrat scuttles out from a puddle. No, I had no idea this was real. You shout? <laughs> Quick! Your mighty shout slams the lost oh god into the guilt. Your attack was not very effective. What do I do now? Your shout skill has increased to level two. Oh my god. This is amazing. You take six damage. What would you like to do? Heal? You can attack with weapon. Cast spell. You shout. Attack with a weapon. Your dagger slices the large mud crab. Your skill with arms has increased to level two. The large mud crab snaps its teeth. You take six damage. What would you like to do? Oh shit! I don't know what to do. Um, you shout. You can attack with weapon. Cast spell. You shout. Let's try casting a spell. Cast spell. Cast spell. Your frostbite kills the large mud crab. Your magic skill has increased to level two. You have learned a new spell. The large mud crab snaps its teeth. What would you like to do? Alexa, stop. That's the coolest fucking thing ever. Oh my god. Okay, I really do want to get finished with Soul Reaver. But next time I'm streaming Skyrim Very Special Edition. Holy shit. <laughs> oh man, that's golden. Holy moly. No, not at all. What? No. No, 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 no. Alexa, stop. Thank you. Oh man, that's great. Yes, next stream after Soul Reaver will definitely be fucking Skyrim Special Edition, hands down. Oh man. Oh man, I'll just, I'll just, oh man. That's so great. Oh, this is so good. Man, we need a, you know what? We need a Dead House Sonata. Oh, fuck you. We need a, uh, we need a Dead House Sonata Special Edition. I am dead serious. I will I will find a way to get that thing to work and um, I will I will legitimately I will program that shit for you guys if it gets us Dead House Sonata Special Edition. I will uh, be on a fast track for my, my coding and, and do Skyrim Special Edition. I mean Dead House Special Edition, hands down. Hands down. Make it happen. Yeah, no, I was, that was a, that was pretty decent. I, I was, I could have gone on for a longer if I really, um, wanted to and just turned this stream into Skyrim Special Edition. You bastard, don't follow me all the way down there. Eh. All right, got all the puzzles.
Like I am my I am legitimately mind blown that this is that that is real. I thought it was just a freaking stupid Super Bowl commercial. I did I had no idea it was it was legit. Like wow. That's nuts. That's so nuts. I love it. Thank you for telling me about that. That is great. <laughs> that is so good. Ugh. That just made my night. That made that made my night. That was fantastic. All right, now we are on to an annoying block puzzle. Let's see. So you need to face that way. So I need to flip you here. Yeah, I think this is this is a cool block puzzle. Like Soul Reaver's got a crap ton and they're annoying, but like this is a cool one. I like this one. Because it's got like a symbol and um, it's kind of a rehash of uh, the Zeppon puzzle where you have to like match the the wall images, but it's still really cool. Plus it's it'd make a really cool tattoo. Yeah, that'd be a cool tattoo, even though, you know, I don't know what the fuck it means, or it's probably Oracle's Cave, or Time, something or other, Universes, Destiny, Fate. Alright, last bit. Oh no, no, shit. All right. We're having a freaking battle of minds here. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, it doesn't, um, I can't recall. Doesn't, uh, isn't there a general symbol for like all of the uh i know skyrim's your favorite but i mean would you consider getting like all of the i guess kingdoms of tamriel symbols if if that's a thing i can't remember uh what they are exactly god i really should play skyrim <laughs> i mean i really should fast track my way and play through skyrim Let's see. Oh shit. What was that one? That one was this one. Do you play Skyrim? Oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Streamlabs. Ian is friendly. He did not mean to spam with caps. Shit. Wrong one. Wait, no, that's correct. Downwards, you. Yeah, I really gotta play Skyrim. Yeah, for real, thanks, Twitch. That bitch. <laughs> Alright, downwards, you. Cool. Um, no, he just, uh, he just spammed with, you know, play fucking Skyrim because, like, I've never played it. Um, or, I mean, I've played it. Like, Tamika, we, you've watched me stream Skyrim. But it's always that I always end up playing and replaying the same section. I always end up uh, like playing the first couple of hours, like, you know, 
going to visit the Greybeards and killing the first dragon or and getting to like maybe the second dragon is like the farthest I ever get. And then um, I'll just burn out really quickly and uh, not touch it for months or I'll mod the crap out of it um, and then just run around and explore and never actually play through the story. <laughs> be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. God damn it. When I was a kid, always playing this, I thought this was a boat. I thought this was like a Noah's Ark situation, just swinging back and forth. Yeah, I really gotta, I really gotta play through Skyrim. I wanna, my goal, my plan is to like play through all of the Elder Scrolls games, not necessarily in order, but you know, I've played a bit of Daggerfall, um, and so far that's my favorite, despite it being like super dated. Um, I like Daggerfall. I remember when Morrowind came out and got all the super hype, and how like people were fucking mind blown that it was on consoles finally, and like all this shit. It's like, whoa, Elder Scrolls is coming to consoles, what? So I remember all that shit with Morrowind. Um, and it still looks, Morrowind looks fucking gorgeous um, for its time still. Like when Morrowind came out, that shit is still beautiful. Especially for being able to pull off whatever uh, it managed to pull off for... Fuck, what was the date, Tamika? 2002? I think we figured it out. Like Morrowind came out in 2002 or something. Yeah, the story totally takes a backseat. Um, just mod it. Play it for two hours. Um, and then uninstall. My favorite, I think I joked on the Discord, my favorite thing about Skyrim is installing it and then uninstalling it. <laughs> yeah, 2002. <laughs> My arrival in this miserable age. What trickery is this? It is no illusion, Raziel, but a glimpse into the currents of time itself. S Sorry, was that really was that really loud for you guys? Um, oh yeah, okay, so we're at the ending of the game now. Um also, this is a really fucking cool... <laughs> I don't know how they pulled this shit off, but this is really badass. If I, and if you want to steal some more shit from Legacy of Cain or um, throw it out to Dennis here, this is awesome. You should find a way to incorporate whatever the hell this is. This, this giant portal into time or whatever for uh, Dead House would be rad. Um, oh yeah, okay. So we're at the ending of Soul Reaver. Literally everything leading up to the last boss fight the last 10 minutes of this game is just walking down a really long hallway and um seeing visions of the future because uh when developing soul reaver they really quickly uh i think towards the last the last like five months um they had to cut a lot of stuff out because they realized they weren't gonna reach their their uh oh sweet awesome um they realized they weren't going to reach their uh their their goal of what the game was supposed to be. So uh, Amy Hennig and stuff quickly reshuffled the ending for Soul Reaver, um, repurposed a lot of the cut content that has now been revealed on YouTube and everything. You can find it all on YouTube. They've found all the alpha builds. Um, so repurposed all, all, repurposed all that content, reworked the story to fit into the preceding sequels of the Legacy of Kane series, Soul Reaver 2, Blood Omen 2, and Defiance. Um, Blood Omen 2, as I've talked about when streaming that game, was an entire different mess than uh, than Soul Reaver 2 was, and the team was like, hey, we want to do something different, and then Amy was like, wait, what the, What do you mean you want to do something different? So 
she had to work and scramble to fix the story for Soul Reaver 2 to make it all make sense. It's a whole development mess, but it's fantastic. It's really great um, behind the scenes dev crap. I love that stuff. torment me. Has this all been foretold? This also, uh, this also eats into the, the time travel aspect of this series that I don't think was supposed to be so prevalent, but ended up being prevalent anyway um, because of all the cut content and all the repurposing that's where the whole time travel thing comes in like you know you see stuff that's like wait that 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 although kind of not really on purpose in this game ended up being a lot more significant later on down the line story-wise that's why i love this series This must be one of Kane's deceptions. My mind reels with conflict. Does Cain await me moments from now? Or in some century yet to come? does this scene portend? Cain must think me credulous to suffer these lies. Man, towards the towards the last half of this game, <laughs> or uh, <laughs> towards the like just this right here, I had to uh, whip out a thesaurus. I had a I had a dictionary and a thesaurus next to my bed when playing this game specifically so I could understand what was going on and like and understand what the wording and vocabulary was. Is this phantasm a conjuration of my mind, or an echo of future events?
had to plug in my phone. Really gotta work on getting that. Really gotta work on getting a dual monitor. Oh, sweet. Yeah, cool. We're at the end. Awesome. Boss fight. Boss fight. Like, knowing what all the cut content is now, it blows my mind that, like, all of this stuff was sadly... I mean, it, it, it works, but, like, just knowing what they had in mind for the original vision of Soul Reaver makes all of this more significant, like, what these areas really were supposed to be. Yeah, you should prepare, prepare your F key hard because I'm going to die. I am going to lose. This is the worst... The final cane fight is ugh. It's str It's so the struggle is real. And I'll take uh, I'll take that copyright F with this music. Boss fight. I glide to my doom. I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. Tell me, did it trouble you to murder your brothers? Did it trouble you when you ordered me into the abyss? No. I had faith in you. In your ability to hate. In your self-righteous indignation. Lies. You cannot have foreseen all of this. Eternity is relentless, Raziel. When I first stole into this chamber centuries ago, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. To see its paths and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never have contained such forbidden truths. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Gazing out across the plains of possibility, do you not feel with all your soul how we have become like gods? And as such, are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. And that is why, when I must sacrifice my children to the void, I can do so with a clear heart. Very poetic, Kane. But in the end, you offer no more than a convenient rationalization for your crimes. These chambers offer insight for those patient enough to look. In your haste to find me, perhaps you have not gazed deeply enough. Our futures are predestined. Mobius foretold mine a millennium ago. We each play out the parts fate has written for us. We are compelled ineluctably down preordained paths. Free will is an illusion. I have been to the tomb of Seraphan Cain. Your dirty secret is exposed. How could you transform a Seraphan priest into a vampire? How could I not? One must keep his friends close, Raziel, and his enemies even closer. Can you grasp the absurd beauty of the paradox? We are the same. Seraphan and vampire. With our holy wars, our obsession with Nosgoth's domination, who better to serve me than those whose passion transcends all notions of good and evil? I will not applaud your clever blasphemy. The Seraphan were saviors, defending Nosgoth from the corruption that we represent. My eyes are opened, Cain. I find no nobility in the unlife you rudely forced on my unwilling corpse. You may have uncovered your past, but you know nothing of it. You think the Seraphan were noble? Altruistic? <laughs> Don't be simple. Their agenda was the same as ours. 
You are lost in a maze of moral relativism, Cain. These apparitions and portents. What game are you playing now? Destiny is a game, is it not? And now, you await my latest move. All right, I'm gonna die. Uh, where are you? Fuck, of course you're behind me. Where are you? Uh, no! I'm just gonna stay here. No! No, shit. <laughs> Fuck. All right, cool. There we go, one. Um, I know, I know Dennis mentioned it. I know Dennis brought it up and I think he's trying or whatever, but please, please get Michael Bell and Simon Templeman for Dead House in some way, shape or form, whether it's for five minutes or five seconds, I think everybody would be happy. All right, where are you now, you bastard? I'm not gonna make it. Ooh, awesome. All right, one more hit. It's the hardest one. Unless I cheat, but I can't because I don't remember what the cheat codes are. At least um, he's not monologuing while he's killing me. He's right behind me. Uh, at least they give you a freaking pool of infinite health. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to make it. And I need the Soul Reaver because I can't win this boss fight without it. That's the bummer. Are you behind me? No, you're to the side. Shit. Make it, make it, no, ah. No, fuck, stop appearing to my side, you bastard. Ah, oh, fuck, it's so frustrating. Oh yeah, no, it's the worst. Uh, I think um, the Kane boss fights are the worst in the entire game um, because the camera is bad for it. He's just teleporting and there's no sound direction. Like I can tell he's on the other side of the room, but I can't pinpoint it. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. No. Oh, come on. Okay, I think he's over here. Nope. Where are you? Oh, I 
have an idea. Can that work? Oh shit. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna just try it without the reaver, because maybe I can still. Nope, I need the reaver. Damn it. I don't know if there's a pattern where he's like going through, you know, left side, right side, right side. Or if he's going around in a circle, you know, I don't know. I never actually thought about that before. Or is he just fucking killing me? behind me I think I heard something where the fuck are you Kane Ugh. to make it shit. All right, I got you this time. Yeah. God damn it. All right. End of game. Did it. Finished Soul Reaver. Fuck. You nearly had me, Raziel. But this is not where or how it ends. Fate promises more twists before this drama unfolds completely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Once you cross this threshold, you are beyond my influence. Raziel. 
Redeemer and Destroyer, Pawn and Messiah, welcome, time span soul. Welcome to your destiny. but a loop, a loose stitch in the universal cloth. A streamer might seize upon a chance, a fatal slip, and plunge the fate of planets into chaos. And the infamous to be continued sign. Oh man, that pissed me off so hard as a kid. That pissed me off so hard as a kid, like, like going through this entire game and then hearing the, uh, the to be continued or reading the to be continued. Um, doof. I was like, what? That's, that's not, that's what? And then I, uh, I never played Blood Omen either. Blood Omen was the last game of the Legacy of Kane series that I played. Um, yeah, Blood Omen was the very last one. Um, I had find I had found it in a in a GameStop or wait no KB Toys no EB Games EB Games I found it in EB Games um, back in 2003 2004 it was right around when the last game in the series Defiance came out and. Um, and I was like, whoa, Blood Omen. And it was like $10 or something. Um, used uh, great condition though, surprisingly. And then I went home and I played the fuck out of it and I fell in love and then it skyrocketed to the top of my list of, of Legacy of Game games. <laughs> and like seeing everything from the original Blood Omen 1 and how the rest of the series played out, like from that is great. Yes, uh, Legacy of Cain, yay. Soul Reaver 2 is next whenever I uh, take a get back to get back to it. If I might just go straight into Soul Reaver 2. I'll probably do some more demos or something to try, you know, not to burn out. And then, um, yeah, get on to Soul Reaver 2, baby. Good thing I got, good thing I did the, uh, the bad one first. Good thing I, I did Blood Omen first. Yeah, um, Soul Reaver 2 is fun. I love, I love Soul Reaver 1, despite its flaws. I also find it really interesting that a lot of the team that worked on Dead Space, like Dead Space 1 and 2 and 3 and stuff before leaving, worked on Soul Reaver. They worked on Soul Reaver and Blood Omen 2. Um, that's, that's a really interesting fact I did not know about until recently. Like... And you have uh, Steve Papoutsis and and stuff who worked on this one. Soul Reaver and a lot of the other Dead Space team. Yeah, Dead Space is fantastic. Um, he just did Glenn Schofield, the creator of Dead Space. I think just did another War Stories episode that's like an hour long. Um, came out like a couple weeks ago. But yeah, a lot of the uh, a lot of the Dead Space team worked on Soul Reaver and um, Blood Omen too, and then they all got like they reformed, and I guess Glenn Schofield brought them over and was like, "Hey, I'm building a team. Let's go make Dead Space." Like, cause it was around the same time. It's pretty crazy. Like, yeah, that uh, that like I think he was conceptualizing like after he finished after he finished Blood Omen two. Um, he left Crystal Dynamics and went to go work at EA and a lot of, and he brought over a lot of his friends who worked on Soul Reaver and, um, the Blood Omen 2 team. And then he was like, Hey, we're going to build a team. And I have this game idea and, uh, he conceptualized it and, you know, did pre-production work for a couple years and then it f evolved into Dead Space. So like, that, that's really crazy that from, from this series sort of to Dead Space is nuts. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me, Ian, and thanks for hosting as well. Yeah, I'll get around to Dead Space also. That'll be a fun game. Um, yes, uh, also one of the be one of the best. That's another thing I love about fucking Soul Reaver. This this menu screen, 
is amazing. I can't remember what painting it's based off of. I know it's it's inspired by a really famous painting um, that's just been, you know, vampirized. Fucking great menu. Super cool. When I first discovered that they freaking move and transform and stuff um, is awesome. And but yeah, 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 it's really slowly. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. That's so wicked. But yeah, thanks for hosting, Ian. Um, I'll try to, I'll definitely try to catch your stream on Wednesday if I'm not working. Yeah, it's creepy, right? I love it. I love it so much. It's the coolest thing ever because they start off normal and they don't, you don't know that they're gonna transform. And um, they're supposed to represent. I think they're supposed to represent each of the vampire clans like each each one of the characters in the game you fight like Zephon and Malkaia and stuff like that um I think Raziel is top right is supposed to be top right because he has the blue eyes and everyone else has red um yeah it's really cool Yeah, it's crazy. It's really cool. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, definitely, we'll be getting to stream the rest of the Legacy of Kane series and Dead Space and a bunch of other games. Yeah, so. Laters. You as well. Have a good night.